Uh, my friend Jenny has crooked tits. <laughs> I told you, you knew the deal. No segues. She, uh, my friend Jenny, she went, she got a boob job and they botched it up a bit and, uh, she had to go on a waiting list to get them fixed, which gave me enough time to convince her to show them to me. And, uh, <laughs> She led to some interesting conversations, you know? She's like, why would you want to see them? Why would you want to see them? They're not, they're not perfect. Men only like perfect breasts. You would only want to see perfect breasts, which is not, ladies, if I could clear this up on behalf of the man in the room, to us, breast size is a lot like Coke or Pepsi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> to us, breast size is a lot like Coke or Pepsi in that we might state a preference, but we will take whatever's on tap. So, as long as it's not flat. So, so, uh, so, so I, I managed, I managed to convince her, right? So we're in my place, she goes, and she's like, okay, fine, fine, I will show you my breasts on two conditions. And I was like, okay, of course, Jenny, of course, what are the conditions? I'll, I'll play by the rules. And she's like, okay, well, rule, no, rule number one is that this has been very traumatic for me, so I, I need you to be my supportive friend. I don't want you being all jerk comedian about this. I want, I want you to be nice, Jay, nice Jay, Jay. And I don't want all jokey joke, Jay, Jay. And so I was like, okay. I care about you. <laughs> and then she said it. And, and rule number two is that you're not allowed to talk about this in your comedy shows. <laughs> and the whole reason why I screwed up on rule number two is because I screwed up on rule number one as well. I was not as prepared for the breasts as I said I would be. We were standing in my room. She goes to take off her shirt. She's like, you ready for this? You ready for this? I was like, yeah, I'm totally ready. I was, I was not ready. It looked like the nipples were running away <laughs> from the breast. Paranoid boobs. It was like she got her shirt off and they were looking either direction going, oh my God, who's coming to get us this time? <laughs> to be perfectly honest, ladies and gentlemen, it's the only time I've ever been looking at a naked woman's chest and felt that I was the one who was perfectly justified. <laughs> who say, excuse me, but my eyes are here.